the real reason the Queen won't go to Wimbledon with the other royals. The late Queen barely attended the famous tennis tournament throughout her 70-year reign. Welcome, to Royal Expert, if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe, and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British royal family. The real reason the Queen won't go to Wimbledon with the other royals. The late Queen barely attended the famous tennis tournament throughout her 70-year reign. Unlike other royals, Queen Elizabeth II has hardly been seen in the exclusive royal box of Wimbledon. Princess Diana was a fixture throughout the 80s and 90s, and Prince William and Kate, Princess of Wales, were a frequent presence with the latter making a surprise visit on day two just last week. But Her Majesty has only gone to the famous SW19 event four times throughout her 70-year reign. After the death of King George VI, the Queen became the royal face of Wimbledon, and was appointed patron in 1952. But she only attended in 1957, 1962 and 1977. She also came in 2010 to see an Andy Murray play, her first visit in 33 years. According to a royal insider, the late Queen avoided attending because she simply didn't like sports. Respected royal biographer Brian Hoey made clear the Queen's dislike of tennis in his 2020 book Kings Revealed, a majestic miscellany. He wrote, Tennis is not on the list of the royal's favorite sports. The author, who has written 36 books on royalty, also claimed that the Queen's only daughter Princess and is similarly not a fan of Wimbledon, because it feels intimidating. Mr. Hui added, the royal princess is also not very excited, saying that Wimbledon is like a cauldron. In January 2017, the Queen stepped down as patron and handed the role over to Kate, who is a tennis fan. The late Queen's visits were always in her capacity as patron. During the same visit, she also met several tennis stars including Serena Williams, Venus Williams, Novak Djokovic, and Roger Federer. Her visit to SW19 came before that in 1977, the year Britain's Virginia Wade won the women's singles competition. Prior to those tournaments, Queen's last outing on centre court was in 1962, where she presented the Wimbledon Cup to Australian legend Rod Lava. Five years earlier, in 1957, Her Majesty, the Queen made her first visit to the championships during her reign which was a particularly historic year as Althea Gibson became the first black player to win Wimbledon. In addition, the King's reign could alter future funding needs in substantial ways, despite the late Queen's decision. The report added that the King will be hosting more events and travelling to more engagements within the UK, and overseas at the request of the government. The way in which royal activities were funded changed in 2012, although it was decided that Prince Philip, who retired in 2017, would continue to receive the payment. The sovereign grant, which is based on a percentage of the Crown Estate's profits, is currently reviewed every five years. In the old Civil List Act 1952, Philip was mentioned by name. This means that the annuity is not accessible to Queen Camilla, with her funding requiring new legislation. Thanks for watching till the end.